trvalo je i sonji ja bivamo tanta speranza per il futuro non eravamo ancora a conoscenza dell'incidente e nemmeno the second book a flash of intuition Yuji started panel beating in his factory in Mito City, Japan. But he couldn't quite get the shape of the front and rear of the car. Yuji knew Jay's nephew, Earl, who lives in Japan and was close to Jay. Suddenly, Yuji went to see Earl. Yuji wasn't convinced that he had gotten the right shape of the front and rear of the Jota. So he asked Gigi to help. Gigi got a lot of Jay's photos from Italy with the Cure of the Woodpecker and Francesco. Then, notice, when they got together to discuss it, they talked about him all night. When they went to Yuji's factory to show him the photos, on the way they had lunch and Gigi got a hint of the Jota's shape from the pasta they ate. After they got to Yuji's factory, they gave the photos to him which showed him the correct shape of the car body. The problem was solved, so he started panel beating again. The third book, Finding Beauty. Clarice, the, right, the white swan, who is very beautiful, had a problem with the color of her wings. Clarice, the youngest daughter of Aunt Miura, had a good reputation in her village. The Prince of Kuntai invited Clarice to a ball, fell in love, and she became a princess. Clarice had always wanted to be a princess. Afterward, she began to think about her wings, and she went to a Japanese hospital which Gigi recommended to her. In the hospital, she had a conversation with Gigi, Clarice said, I actually saw Jay's father, Bob, at Bologna Station. Soon after Jay's accident, Bob left the village without saying anything because he felt responsible for the accident. Gigi remembered Jay's story when he heard it from Urako the pheasant. fourth book, Thinking About Forms. On the way back from Yuji's factory, Francesco the pheasant and Tatsumi the owl were talking about design. Francesco couldn't think of the correct word to say in Japanese because he couldn't speak it very well. Remembering his past as a designer, he loved to draw, so in the classroom he used to draw even though the teacher was watching him. After his graduation, he was praised highly by the master designer Giorgetto da Finch. Francesco respected his talent, so he became a professional designer. Francesco was very skillful at drawing, so he did a sketch of Jay, and it looked very realistic. Gigi learned how wonderful it is to have a dream. After he started Project Jay, he expressed his gratitude to Jay by writing a song for him.